now the next level okay the next level i would say is called authorization authentication is one thing authentication authorization is another thing so what i am going to talk about now for the next few minutes is called authorization authorization meaning defining security levels to users that means allow user inside application so that means he is able to log in but can this person see the screen can this person add a record can this person delete a record that means this is called role based security you take a bank in a bank a uh, clerk officer manager there are different roles each one is given powers to execute certain things for example clerk can enter the loan application details officer can say this is verified manager may say this is recommended then i could say uh, general manager may approve so if i log in as a manager am i in a position to approve the loan if the system allows that way whereas the requirement says only general manager can approve the loan but the application was not doing proper security check it is saying that manager all it is allowing manager also to approve this means a violation that means you are giving wrong powers to wrong people right remember this wrong powers to wrong people this leads to fraud right simple word fraud they will simply say the system allowed i entered i did this so within our system we should also ensure that role based security is done okay now i am going to show you one simple application that that does this uh, role based security part okay i am not sure how many of you know this this is our you will now see a window um, qa monitor qa monitor is our test management product okay if you go to freeqamonitor.com okay there's a website called freeqamonitor.com okay in this what you can do is this is a complete test management application this free qa monitor.com you can go and then register you can have a pro, an evaluation version for 30 days if you want a permanent free version you have to send us an email from your company id this is a free product so you can go there and then see that only when you want the system beyond 25 users or if you want it to be installed in your company machines you have to pay other than that you can simply start using it for any product over the internet so i am going to show you so you can visit this free qa monitor.com and uh, i can pass the link to you all okay now this is the application again this is not the live version this is one of our test versions what i am going to do is i am going to log in as a user i am logging in as a user and uh, you can see a screen suppose i am choosing a project called test build 001 for me for the user joker 1 it shows only this project there is no other project allocated for this guy there are many projects in the system but this particular user 
is allowed only to access this project. So the first level thing is at project level whether I am able to see or not. Okay, I am now inside the project. Now there is a this is like a bug tracking system. If you click on these issues, okay, this is the bug. You can enter bugs over here. This is a typical bug tracking system where I want to add bugs. But look at the screen. In no place it is giving me add, modify, delete any buttons over here. It doesn't show. Look at this. There is no, this is only a history button. It doesn't say edit button or delete button or I don't see any add button over here because I'll show you why. The administrator has configured this particular user, Joker. Okay, the user who has logged into this is Joker. Okay, Joker is not given access to either add. There is no plus symbol here, or edit or delete over here. Anything. So, if a user is not given right but nothing right now if I click on this import it says this for example for this guy somebody has given the import facility right but for him it is not given as add modify anything so someone has given him only import facility but not add modify delete now what I'm going to do is I am going to create another user and configure that person to two different projects and give him access to add, modify, delete to only one of the projects right? and in one of the screens only, not in anything else. Now, this is called role based security. I go here and uh, I am creating a user okay let me create a new user I'm creating a new user let me create um, say actor um, right. now I'm adding this actor again this is a test system so don't worry about this now, actor has been added. Now, what I'm going to do is for test build 01, I'm going to assign that user. Okay. I'm going to assign that user actor from today to 31st. This is another security that we have, systems will have. This particular user is allowed to log in only between these two dates. Beyond that, he may not even have access to this project. Right? So there is one more thing is called, this is another security feature, right? Because this is, though we say we are just adding a user, we are setting a security aspect to that user. Now I'm going to say, okay, remove this user from any of these groups. Okay? This user is removed from this. Now what I'm going to do is, there is something called groups. This is an important aspect in, right? This is an important aspect in security testing. This is called authorization. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm creating a new group, right? Um, business analyst, okay? I'm going to say BA. For business analyst, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to modify the access rights. This is an important word, access rights. I go to, I say, for this particular guy, in issue screen, okay? In issue screen, what the user can do? Can he add a defect? Yes. I'm going to say, he can add a defect, he can view a defect. That's all. I am not giving edit or delete option to this guy. 
I give these two access rights to this group, business analyst group. Now what I'm going to do is that coming to the user screen, this particular actor A user, right? I'm going to say, hey, uh, let me come back to these groups, business. I assign this user to this particular group. Actor belongs to business analyst group. Fine. Now, what I'm going to do is, okay. Sorry, I think I clicked on the wrong um, user. I need to save that. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is, I sign out. I'm going to log in as actor. Now I'm getting it, right? So this is an important aspect. Now this guy gets into this test build project. Look at this. For him, look at these buttons. If you look at these buttons, he was not even given view access to any of this, so they are all disabled. Whereas he has been given access to issues. Now if you get into these issues, now you could see the add symbol coming up but not the new issue add symbol is coming up but not the delete or edit right this is called authorization so depending upon what rights access rights your system administrator is giving right accordingly the application should allow the users right so this is called authorization. Users must get only the rights that are given by admins. Testing this is a huge thing. Okay? So authorization meaning you are assigning a role to somebody and giving permissions to that role and you assign this person to that particular role he or she must do only that right if you don't give delete access and he is able to delete it's a violation this process is called authorization authentication meaning allow the user to get into the system authorization meaning after allowing the person inside the system can he add can he modify can he delete can he view all these things so add modify delete view these are all the basic rights apart from this again screen wise rights in some products you can even say field wise rights for example in a loan application can the manager change the premium amount of the loan right field device also can I change it field device also can I modify it can I remove the content of a field so screen wise rights field device rights for every user who is inside the system this is called authorization but this is huge for example if we have 50 forms in a software and at least in every form we have got four basic rights right add modify delete view that means we have got 200 rights to be tested should I have to do 200 tests yes you need to test if I give only this access it should allow only that access it should not allow all the 199 access others if you miss to test this obviously you are allowing a loophole into the system accidentally if it allows we are in trouble not the user in trouble right so but people say one person has already raised the question so if there are 200 rights doing 200 tests it is, it is it's going to be really huge yes it is huge and it takes time it definitely takes time better automate right because it's the same test 
give him the access, see if it allows. Remove the access, see if it doesn't allow. But manually doing it again and again, it is going to be a pain, right? So, security testing as the second step is authorization. Is this clear? Good. So the very first two aspects of security testing is called, right, authentication and authorization. In fact, uh, one person has uh, sent a comment saying that uh, uh, this is for uh, people like basic background. If uh, people are not happy on authorization and authentication, if you feel that authorization and authentication is very simple, look at every security threat in every company where the fraud has happened. It has happened because bad authentication and bad authorization has happened. And if you go to MSDN, and I will always say, if you want to read anything, right? Go to MSDN, check for security testing. Fundamental aspects of security testing lies in these two, authentication and authorization. If authentication and authorization are not working, your system is rejected, point blank. Okay? Good. <clears throat> Shall we move on to the next, next aspect of security testing? Can you please raise the hands?